Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I am doing week 41 of my 2019 reads. This week I read three graphic works, um, no regular novels, but I enjoyed these graphic works so much. The first book that I finished was The Witch Boy by Molly Ostertag. This is a middle grade graphic work that is uh, set in the modern day where some people have magic. Um, Aster, the main character, is a 13 year old boy and he is very, very drawn to witchcraft, but witchcraft is something that only women practice. All of the men become shapeshifters instead. And there is sort of a history of, um, you know, men who were drawn to witchcraft going really badly uh, and there is a lot of pressure on him to learn how to become a shapeshifter and very much discouragement of him uh, looking into witchcraft at all so this story is really sweet it follows you know his um, exploration of his role in the community as well as his personal identity and what he feels drawn to and how he can navigate that. So it's a really good exploration of gender roles and of non-conformity to those. Also of the harm that loved ones can do when out of fear they discourage people and shut them down and pressure them to be somebody that they aren't. I also really liked the friendship in this. There's um, a friend that Astra makes who's just a normal human and the friend is so supportive of him and really encourages him to try his magic and be himself. And I just loved that friendship. And the exploration of this kind of theme with a very sweet um, approach and really beautiful artwork too. I loved the artwork in this. Lots of colors, lots of um, kind of soft lines and just beautiful imagery and lots of great scenery. So I had such a fun time reading this book. I gave it five out of five stars and I can't wait to pick up the next books in the series. Next, I read Mary Who Wrote Frankenstein by Linda Bailey and Julia Zarda. This is a children's picture book, which is a nonfiction, and it tells the biography of Mary Shelley, in particular, focusing on her childhood and what influenced her uh, and the process that she went through to write Frankenstein. This is a book that I buddy read uh, with Rhea from the Book Finch, who I will link below. Um, we are kind of doing a lot of Frankenstein buddy reading this month, and it was just the sweetest story. I really, really liked it. It has this amazing artwork. The artwork is really what stands out in this book. It is so beautiful and gothic. Um, the color palette is very autumnal. It is gorgeous and it really looks at a lot of these kind of darker sides of Mary Shelley looking at you know her in the graveyard um, remembering her mother or thinking about her mother who she lost when she was a baby or her in the um, house where they came up with the idea to write ghost stories and it's got this very spooky feel and it also focuses a lot on her as a person just being very creative and very rebellious, talks a little bit about kind of the um, conflicts that she had with her family. So it was just a fun read. I loved reading a little bit more about Mary Shelley. I adored the artwork and I gave it five out of five stars. And lastly, I read Julian is a Mermaid by Jessica Love. This is the just most adorable, cutest, sweetest little picture book. It is very much for young children. There aren't so many words. It is more just um, a story told through images and the images are amazing. The artwork in this is just this gorgeous uh, watercolor done on like a brown paper and it follows a little boy Julian who has a beautiful imagination and he loves swimming and he loves the idea of being a mermaid um, and one day he decides to dress up as a mermaid and his grandmother is so supportive of him and of his desire to be creative and to explore this kind of dressing up um, and this book really kind of looks a little bit at uh, you know, some issues of like drag and issues of acceptance and issues of expression of self-identity. So I loved this story. Um, I've heard a couple of people talk about it, but most recently Priscilla at Bookie Charm, who I will link below, 
talked about this book, which made me think I need to go borrow this right away from the library. Uh, and she actually did a video just recently, which I will also link below, with recommendations for a bunch of different Latinx picture books. So if you're like me and you're totally into picture books, I really recommend you check that out because I got a ton of recommendations from that video that I wanna go look at. Oh, and I gave this picture book five out of five stars. So that wraps up week 41 for me, which was filled with a lot of beautiful artwork and sweet stories. I hope that your reading week has been going well as well. And if anybody else has read these stories, please let me know in the comments below what you thought, or if you have any recommendations for great picture books, I'd love to hear them.